hi welcome back to this channel in this video we will continue with our job portal full stack application with burn stack also i want to thank you for your comments and i will add new features in this application without further ado let's begin so behind the scene i have added a get ignore file in order to not push to get repo to our um github um, some sensitive data. I will not push the modules and also dot env and uh, I will leave the link in the description This is uh, our new project folder Job portal burn stack and in between I have already added the part one of our very last lesson You will find there everything from lesson one and now let's go back to our code editor so first of all, I will add uh, um, middleware. Middleware is something that you add in between, but as we progress, you will understand um, better. And to use middleware, we're gonna use um, type app that use. Don't forget we have invoke express. Okay, const app equal express js. Okay, um, on the top of uh, this file okay and um, we use uh, the first middleware we're gonna use morgan morgan is very useful um especially when you make a request to know what endpoint you have reached and also for debugging and uh, the second one uh, will be body parser body parser that uh, json and uh, we're gonna limit up to five megabytes we will use another middleware i mean the same body parser but we will add a uh, body parser uh, that uh, url encoded also we'll uh, limit to five megabytes And extended true. Now let's add uh, uh, in this one uh, cookie parser. Cookie parser because we're gonna use um, cookie. Um, uh, in order to authenticate in our process of authentication okay and we have added calls because we're gonna make requests to the backend so now we're gonna cd in our backend so you can add um folder manually but i will add it with comments make directory um you chills and i will navigate inside of it and i will create a new file name error response.js Okay, as you can see, the file um, was created, and uh, in there I will use class class error response extends um, class extend uh, sorry error. This is from the JS. and uh, constructor constructor has a message and super so um that of this uh, is from uh, javascript But also we wanna pass the message to know, uh, I mean, the, um, 
the status code okay so we'll add code status and uh, also this code status equal code status because uh, we are going to customize our errors to we're gonna have our errors and also the status of our errors it is very important to know uh, what's going on when we have an errors um, in our backend API and also we export um, error response okay in order to use it in other files okay and we save and now I will go uh, one step up and I will create another folder named um, middleware and uh, I will go inside of it and we will create a new file named error.js okay as you can see the file is created and we're gonna add uh, we're gonna handle our errors that means each time we have an error in our backend api we will know exactly what it is and also the code status and uh, to do so i will uh, import um, our error response from uh, um, the utils folder In this, uh, uh, we will add uh, cons um, error handler. So we're gonna use our function. And uh, we're gonna have error request response and next next um this is to go to the next middleware this also i will explain you as we progress um in this uh application and also to use it we need to export module that exports this is how you export a uh, module in node.js Mod module that exports equal error handler in order to use it in uh our application so we're gonna create um, a variable uh, let error, and we're gonna bring. I mean, like copy. We're gonna use a spread operator. Okay. So here, error that message um, equal error. Also, error stands for error. Okay. That message. And now we will handle. Um, our errors now if we have uh, an error that name equal cast error we're gonna add a, a custom message we're gonna add our message okay we saw uh, we're gonna add with source not found okay and we're gonna use template string okay like so the last sign okay um error that value and after that error no error response okay that we have bring don't forget it has uh it accept i mean two parameters the message and also the code status so because we uh, don't find uh, the the source and we're gonna pass for or for at um code status that's been not found okay and as you can see it accept two parameters Okay, so we're gonna copy just to save some time. Now the next one will be 
uh, Mongo's uh, duplicate value. So the message will be um, duplicate field value entered. And uh, 400, that's mean uh, uh, that we don't give authorization. And this time we're gonna target the code error that code equal eleven thousand. Another one. Now we're gonna target um, Mongo's uh, validation. So this time, error that name equal. I mean, this error that we are targeting is um, validation error, like so. If the error name is equal to validation error, so. This we might have more than one errors, okay? And we will use uh, object that value. Um, object that value will return um, an array, okay? And um, in between, we're gonna pass error that errors to target the the errors. And we're gonna map through it each error. Okay, so we pass a value and we add uh, some space to add some some space to separate um, errors. We concatenate um, value that um, message to get the the error, uh, the message of the error. And also the error response, we pass message and we pass 400, I mean unauthorized. And finally, we're gonna have our status, response that status, in between error that status code, so if we don't have a status code, we will have um, 500, I mean server error. So um, we're gonna return some JSON. Um, and success false. And error, error that message. Okay, if we have one or server error. So now we can review what we have done. We have handled um, our custom errors in Node.js in our backend API. And uh, now we'll go to app.js to import it and use it. Okay, cause error handler equal require. We're gonna require this file from um, middleware folder dot slash. Okay, as you can see, already appear and error.
and now we're gonna use it as middleware that means we are using our custom errors I mean each time we have an error in our backend API we'll have one of those okay this is what it it says app that use error handler that's it for this lesson guys and girls I will add videos more frequently in order to finish more quicker with this series so if you like this video please leave it thumbs up if you have questions please leave it in the comment section and don't forget to share it with your friend so that more people can watch our video with that being said thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye